topic is welding. What is welding? So welding is a process of joining the two similar or dissimilar metal by the fusion, with or without the filler or non-filler metal, or with or without the pressure or non-pressure. The fusion of the metal takes place by the heat. The heat may be obtained by the blacksmith, electric arc resistance welding, and chemical reactions. The welding are performed with the different type of the types of the welding process. So there are three types of the uh, process are used to perform the welding. Number one is the autogenous. The process of joining two metal, similar metal, without any filler metal. This process is called the autogenous process. You can see like this: two same metal are heated in an open furnace at a temperature of 800 degree Celsius to 1200, 1250 degree Celsius. This is called a red heat temperature. So the pieces are holded by the tongue and placed on a anvil surface. It is pressed by the hammering. The pressing is continue. The pressure is doing the continue until two pieces are not interlocked to each other. This process is called the homo. <coughs> this process is called the auto junius. This type of the joint is only used for a general purpose. Uh, this process is the oldest method. Second number is homogeneous so you can see the figure number 2 two pieces this piece is made of a mild steel material is mild steel so this pieces are heated to complete the welding with the help of a filler metal this filler metal to complete the filler to complete this joint this joint is called the homogeneous process third number is heterogeneous heterogeneous means This is the zinc material is high carbon steel, and this is the carbide tips, and it is well welded at a slotted piece with the help of a spelter. A spelter means a filler metal. The spelter the alloy of the copper and zinc. Sixty percent copper, forty forty percent zinc are used to make the spelter. So this area is heated, welded with the help of a brazing. So brazing is the best example of the. heterogeneous process or heterogeneous process before starting the welding you should keep in your mind the metal or the metal is suitable for welding or not suitable for welding so material should be the ductile so metal should be the ductile not a brittle or hardness so why brittle and hardness to so not perform the welding so you can going on the you should going on the you will going on the other process Like annealing, so annealing the hard material is annealing to perform the welding. So so the the welding material should be the ductile. Welding material should be the ductile. So weld ability. So weld ability is defined as the property of the material. The weld ability <coughs> different factors are affecting the weld ability. Number one is composition of the metal. Number two is strength and hardness of the metal or brittleness of the metal number 3 is thermal property of the metal number 4 is good technique of the welding good technique of the welding means this electrode from this surface this from this surface this electrode should be the 70 degree to 80 degree this this should be the this is the good technique of welding a fifth <coughs> good technique of the welding Our fifth number is good quality of the flux and good quality of the filler metal. Number six is the proper heat treatment of the welding, the after and before. So these are the various factors are affecting the weld ability of the metal. So different type of the weldings, welding. types of welding so welding are generally two types pressure welding non pressure welding pressure welding number 1 is blacksmith number 2 is spot welding number 3 is seam welding number 4 is 
projection welding number 5th is butt welding number 6th is friction stair welding number 7th is friction welding butt welding number 7th is butt welding these are the pressure welding non pressure welding arc welding metal arc welding number 3 is metal arc welding number 4 is gas welding number 5 is mig welding m i g mig mig means metal inert gas welding number 6 is tig welding tungsten inert gas welding number 7 is submerged arc welding s a w number 8 is thermite welding number 9 is hydrogen welding number 10 is etc these are the pressure welding these are the non pressure welding are used to perform the welding so this is the electrode so electron play a very important role to perform the welding the electron the outer surface of the electrode having the flux what is the function of the flux so main function of the flux is reduce the impurities of the welding number 2 is to prevent the oxidation of the welding area number 3 is to increase the fluidity of the metal those are fill up in the cavity number 5th is to prevent the to create the oxidation to create the sealed area to create the sealed area to prevent the different type of the gases enter the welding zone welding area the oxygen and nitrogen gases the the oxygen and nitrogen gases are absorbed by the heated area the oxygen are affecting the the increase the inclusion and blow holes on the welding joint nitrogen to promote the hardness and brittle of this joint these are the the these are the weakness of the joint these are the weakness of the joint and also to promote the corrosion So this these are the corrosion. So this is the welding. Welding are generally used in a different type of the industries like automobiles to make the sheet metal works outer body and also used to make the chassis of the vehicles vehicles and also used to repairing works like a used used of a repairing works like a forging and casting and also. if the uh, the teeth of the gear are break to to joint the uh, teeth to welding are used to uh, weld to repairing the gear teeth different type of the uh, uh, welding are used in a different type of the palaces uh, welding are play a very important role in a industries any workshop and other and uh, other Uh, works uh, i think uh, you will like my lecture uh, thank you very much